So this will be tutorial 28. This time I want to talk about displaying the logged in username uh, using uh, Spring Boot. So actually login and logout uh, has to do with authorization, authentication and authorization, which is covered in Spring Security, which is a different uh, series altogether. So, but I would just like to show you how to transfer a username data uh, and, uh, and get it in the HTML page. This is similar to the same way you get the, 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 the list of items in the HTML page, but in this time it's just going to be a single text. The, the, the method is simply put it in the model uh, object and then retrieve it in the HTML point of view. So I'm going to simply take this. I'm going to go to the model for this. Uh, I'm going to go to the controller I'm going to come to this place where we display all and I'm going to add the username uh, into the model as a username, as username. And if I go to the HTML page, now the HTML page for now, it doesn't have a tro a, any structure much except the table we have. So, uh, but let me just display this username because in the next lesson, we actually designed this page to give uh, some kind of navigation bar. So I'm going to copy this and put it on the HTML page in the way we can retrieve the username on the HTML page. And let's go to the HTML page uh, here. So if I go to the top of the page, just above the list of students here, I'm going to paste this code here. Um, so this is what we have. So I could actually say h2, uh, can make it h3, uh, h4, h5, and uh, cover it slash h, hmm, slash span, slash h5, slash h5. So now we have username display. Now, if there is no username, it's going to say welcome guest. If there is a username, it's going to say welcome username. That is how Timeleaf manages or displays items. Let's now run it to see how it works. And then we now talk about how to, to design the page to add some good user interface elements like navigation and drop down and stuff like that. So let's see. So if I go to the student list and I refresh it, you can see it says welcome kind son. Welcome kind son because the username is there. So normally when a user logs into the application, you assign the username to the session variable and also assign a status whether he's logged in or he's not logged in. So each time a page is requested, you, are, you need to check the username. If the username is there, then you can display the username on the, uh, on, the, on the top of the page. If the username is not there, you display a, an, alternate, uh, a, a, an alternative message. And in my case, I use welcome guest. So let's now go to see how we can add some kind of beautiful menu using Bootstrap, add some maybe one or two drop down, and then finalize.